Lakini biashara yeah. saa zingine mbaya. Yeah. Inataka ufumilivu. Yes. Maana saa zingine yeah. unaweza amuka yes. utoke bure. Yeah. Kama hujasoya kufumulia yeah. unaweza waacha. Kabisa. Sana sana wakati wa mvua yeah. wengine wanapenda barangeti kwa muka ni problem. <laughs> How do you deal with your critics? You know, kila asubuhi unaamka unaona gazeti zimeandika hivi uh, radio stations are saying this. How do you deal with that? I like to be cri- criticized. Because mm. that is the only way that you, you, you can improve. Right. If you fear to be criticized, yeah, you can continue making same mistakes. Uh-huh. So I like what I call constructive criticism. Criticism, yeah. When somebody tell me you're doing wrong here, yeah. If you had done it this way, it will be better. Where do you see this country in five years? Just one, 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 one. Yeah. We must shy, shun what is called ethnic divisions. Yeah. It is what is keeping us away from realizing the Kenyan dream. Right. We must unite as Kenyans. Don't think of your neighbor yeah. as a member of this or that community. Right. Everyone must be a Kenyan. Yeah. Number one, Kenya. Number two, Kenya. Kenya. Number three, Kenya. One last word to the Kenyans out there. I want Kenyans to keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Because this country is great. It's great. This is a time, as I said, for all of us yeah. to hold together. Looking at this audience, I cannot tell who is Kikui, who is Kamba, who is Kalenjin, who is Luo. Yeah. We are all Kenyans. And therefore, as we move to the future, yeah. uh, elections up. next year, right. let us remain together. All right. Thank you very much. Five years from now, where, where do you want to see this country? Five years from now, yeah. I'd love to see the bubble that we have, especially with our youth gone. Right. Because that is the principal problem that we have today. Yeah. It is not that our economy is not growing, yeah. but it is not growing at a fast enough pace yeah. to cover the backlog, especially that we have between the ages of 18 yeah. and 35. Yeah. And that is where we need to focus ourselves to flatten out that bubble to yeah. ensure that our young men and women right. who are highly capable yes. are actually gainfully employed and yeah. standing on their own two feet and this country is going to prosper as a result. As we move. Five years from now, where, where do you want to see this country? Uh, if God gave me the privilege to lead this country, right. then uh, I would be the warrior for the downtrodden to All ensure right. that every Kenyan yes. living in every part of this country yes has a fair share of the national cake and right. an opportunity to realize the God-given potential. All right. Go, Ludover. That's okay. all I'm saying. When the Karatina, when the Nyeri, uh, Horrible Ruto, and they celebrate you, they appreciate you, and they buy into your vision. Do you see that changing? Let me tell you. Yeah. Those who don't believe yeah. that this nation is going to be one yeah. are in for a shock because we are determined. We are determined. We are determined. And whether that, that you are not going to vote for a guy because of the village he comes from, right? Or the spelling of his name, mm. or because uh, of, of uh, his height or religion. Yes. But because of what he can do for our nation. Yes. And I am very, very confident yes. that we are going to make that difference. All right. I wish you all that. What can this vote do for the youth, both the youth as an individual and the nation as a whole? Um, basically, what does the youth want in this country? Let's call it in this vote. Basically, this vote is basically the, you're the human resource manager of your constituency, of whatever, of, of whatever you come from. Hmm. Okay, on a vote, if you say youth are the most in this country, I mean, the most should be counted at the ballot box. And that's why we are doing the vote to Kutuka, because if we are many, right. and, the, and the parliament is about representation, then if 60% of the population is youth, then 60% of the parliament seats should be? The ABCD, same it should be? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If EG, for example, we are talking about in this last parliament, 202 to 207, yeah. probably around you know, only 100 and something bills were passed. None of them concerned the youth. Because the youth. Wow. you are not there. Yeah. What can a young leader do? Some of the biggest things that the government should be doing is planning in circles that are bigger than five years. That are, uh, that are longer than uh, 
the five years that um, a parliamentary uh, 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 a parliamentary term mm -hmm. that means like right now some of the biggest aspirations as a country mm -hmm. our visions 2030 mm -hmm. we need to have some young people making decisions that they are able to live they're probably going to own it more than mm -hmm. someone who doesn't care whether it comes to be or doesn't come to be. <laughs> so we have vested <laughs> interest in the future of this country. Come so on. we are saying, wazazi wetu wame tufundisha, wame tulea, wame tufikisha maali tuko. Kwa hivu tunawamba, safadhali wazazi, turuhusuni hata sisi tuwale. Do the youth understand the advantage which they have by voting? Most youth know what they want. But the only problem is it's like we sneaked all the opportunities from the young people. So they're invested in the older generation. In that you might find there are so many young people who have vision, who are well educated, who have a lot of great ideas. By the end of it, because I was looking at it like in 2000, I was in school but very active in politics. In that when they talked of a coalition and NAC government, most of the people we were with in the union, people opted like this was a very good way of kicking Moy out. But was that the basis of us doing it that way? So we were looking at it like we kick him out. So what was our plan B? There was nothing else to be talked about. So the youth kind of, we know what we want, but we don't have an opportunity to go. So it's like maybe we have to look for a strategy politically. Like now, how we can, as in the charge. Exactly. Okay.